Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Hi, thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm your host alongside Paul Zeiss tonight, 412 575 Two six zero zero is the number. We're taking your phone calls, also taking your tweets. So give us a call or send us a tweet. We've got a lot of high school football to go over with you tonight on KDK TV News. A bunch of good games, some highlights, also some upsets, some big upsets out there in all classifications. We will break that down on KDK TV News tonight, but also we will break down the Steelers game right here, right now. And Paul, you were there. I was there. Uh, I was a uh, 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 one of those games that the Steelers just ran away with that the most e points ever scored by a professional team at Heinz Field, 52. Ben looked like he could do no wrong, more touchdowns than incompletions. And the defense was relentless, five sacks. Uh, Vince Williams with a pick six. I mean, this seems like this is a team that's on the rise right now. They're peaking at the right time. The only thing that maybe could throw them off is a, uh, an arrival of Le'Veon Bell, which I think makes them better. Yeah, it makes them better eventually. Um... The only thing you don't want to do is peak too early. That's the biggest problem you, you could have with the team. You, you don't want them to peak too early, and this looks like a team that's playing its best football now, which is great. Kansas City is a team that maybe played its best football in the first half of the season. I, I don't like know. Like they did last year, You too, want to right? be the best. Yeah, you want to be playing your best at the end. So I, I, I think what happened last night was great. I think it's great that they got 10 days off or whatever, you know what I mean, until they have to play. You look at their schedule the next few weeks. I know they got some road games, but you, you got to figure that they should be able to continue to build on this. Um, if you look traditionally, uh, the one thing I would say, if you look traditionally, Thursday night games are blowouts a lot of times. You know, if you it's look a short at, week, all it's a short week, and it's tough, and it's tough for you know. I mean, uh, it, sometimes it can be tough to travel on a short week and all that other stuff. So it's not taking anything away from the Steelers, but um, they and said, I'm not sure we're this good because they looked really, really good last. I mean, they play like that. I don't know who yeah, beats they, them. They could do no wrong. You know what also, I mean? Also, Christian McCaffrey, he really impressed me. Yeah, he's that quite he's pretty good. good. He's I mean, he can't good. block, but he uh, can run all over the place. He's very good, and you know what? Um, I just don't know what to think about Cam Newton. Some days I watch him and think, well, you know what? I could see he's definitely a, a legitimate franchise quarterback. And then some games like that, like last night, I thought he was holding the ball way too long. I thought he was, you know what I mean? I thought he, you know, he, he wasn't able to make throws unless he was standing there and standing there and waiting and waiting and waiting and then throwing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like those throws that you see the top guys make where they drop back and just boom and it's to a spot and a guy runs to the spot. He wasn't making those kind of throws. Most of his throws were to somebody standing still or whatever. Well, when you look at his stats on Thursday night, he's awful. I think he has a 60 passer rating. He's been terrible on Thursday nights. Yeah. And the exact well, maybe that's it, but again, yeah, maybe that's term, it. We'll short time see. turnaround. But here's the thing. It's, they could go down to Jacksonville and lose. I don't think well, they will, but they could. I want to ask you about these next four games. You brought it up. That was my next question. Four games, three are on the road, and they're on the road to places that the, the Steelers could lose and have lost in the past. Jacksonville, Denver, Oakland. You have San Diego in the middle. The San Diego game, excuse me, L.A. L.A. is the game that I think that they're going to win, but I think they're going to beat. They should definitely beat Oakland. There's no question about that. They could sleepwalk through that game. Yeah. But they're going to lose one of these games. I, I would think. say I that think they're going to be three I and one. I think they'll go stretch. three and one, but to me, the one that they probably will lose is Denver. That's what I was thinking, too. Um, you know, I just think Jacksonville, to me, they look like a team that's quit. Now, again, they could go out and put out a great effort. When is it, Sunday? I mean, Sunday they play yeah. – uh, I don't even know who they play this week. But Sunday they, they could go out and play, a, you know, a great game on Sunday. Maybe it gets them back on, to the, on track and everything else. Who knows? But I think that that game is not nearly as difficult as going to Mile High Stadium and playing there. And, you know, the Steelers have had some problems there. Uh, they have, but Denver's not that good. They're not you good know, at none all. None of these teams are that they good aren't. except for L.A. The, you know, the Chargers are good, the Patriots are good, and the Saints are good. Those are, the, those are the three teams that you play that, okay, the rest of the, what they got left, I mean, even the Bengals at home on the last week of the season, you know. Well, before we go to the break and um, – Who's Jacksonville playing? Talk, I, was gonna, I was calling it up right now. Before we go to break and before we call um, – before we start talking about Jacksonville plays Indianapolis, before we start talking about Pitt and their game tomorrow 
at Heinz Field, which is a huge game for the Panthers. Um, I, you know, I do want to. I do want to get into. Um, now I lost my train of thought here, <laughs> Paul. I the Steelers. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about the Steelers here, but we got to. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, we actually got to get to a sponsorship before we talk more Steelers. I'll get everything straight here. And the Pitt Panthers, but our Thermo Twin Whippio Watch Report brought to you by PNC. There are some big games tonight in North Allegheny, our game of the week, our Honda dealerships game of the week, goes down to Seneca Valley. Paul, this was, I think, a big upset. You, maybe not so. Um, North Allegheny won that game earlier this season, 10-6. to It was a close game, and this was close at the half. Seneca Valley was leading. And we'll have highlights of that game coming up tonight at 11. But I, I think that was the biggest upset. There were some other number one seeds that were losing, uh, but you know, came back to win. Uh, Penn Hills won big. Gateway won big. That, tonight. that to me is not the biggest upset. Um, who remind me who beat Sadie Side Academy? Steel Valley. No, no it's no. not Steel Valley. Sadie Side Academy. I think you know they, that 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 was a pretty big upset. I think right, wasn't it? Whoever they lost to. Um, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I, I think they were a, a number one seed, if I'm not mistaken. Well, there were so and, uh, Right? Yeah, I just think... Uh, I think they I were a number who, one seed. I forget who... Right now, I game. saw that they lost, and I was like, that's incredible. I mean, I thought they were the number one seed and that they were going to, you know, roll through it. Yeah, well, I, I, we can talk <laughs> a lot about 5A uh, and 6A, and we'll I, highlight yeah. some all these games coming up tonight. I, I don't have the final score of that game right now, so I, I didn't see that, but... Um, we'll talk about pit hoops too. Pretty impressive against VMI, but pretty impressive out there tonight. Back in a couple minutes.